Alright, so I don't really do a lot of uh, how-to videos, but I was doing some research on this uh, 2000 Forerunner Limited of uh, automatic transmission, and uh, that issues with uh, a few different issues. Uh, I live up in the mountains, so I like to shift into second when I'm going downhill, steep hills, hairpins, and stuff like that. So I recently noticed driving downhill, I'd shift into second, they would just completely go to neutral. And uh, on the dashboard, the second light would not come on, the reverse light was coming on instead. And uh, I tried doing some research and I have, a, I have a check engine light on, right there, the check engine light says the neutral safety switch. Uh, I have no issue starting the car, I don't have to jiggle the shifter, the shifter seems to be in place just fine, starts just fine for the most part, and shifts the gears fine, it appears that the Reverse will light up at random times. Yeah, the reverse is dimly lit now in first gear. Uh, that doesn't really make much sense. But uh, so I was doing a lot of research online, and none of the symptoms were correct for the neutral safety switch. It starts just fine, like I said. And uh, I checked for other people struggling with transmission issues with that check engine light code on. And what they're saying is there is a circuit board inside the dashboard that has some shorts in it and needs to be replaced. So I have just gotten a new Toyota OEM circuit board. I'm gonna take apart the dash, replace that. Because the uh, the other main issue with this symptom, which really makes it not point to the transmission being bad or the solenoids being bad of just rush the fluid and all that, uh, is that the truck will not shift out of first gear with the lights on. That blows my mind how the, the, the having the headlights on can control the transmission. but uh, apparently it's true. I was having trouble shifting through gears the other day while pulling the trailer and I actually had to flash my lights to get the transmission to shift. So some ridiculous electronic issues going on here and like I said this is sort of the uh, neutral safety switch check engine light has been turned on but it's not necessarily related to that. So I'm going to replace the circuit board on the, behind the dashboard and do a follow-up. So hopefully it works. Alright, I'm about halfway point. This is the back side of the dash cluster, completely broken down. This is the old circuit board that we've pulled off that's going to be replaced by this new one. When you're pulling these off, it looks like you want to make sure that this section here stays underneath. This tab stays underneath, but the tab next to it, it goes as a part of the new one. See that tab there? So it threw me off for a second, I thought maybe I didn't have the right board, but hopefully this board replaces all the things that are causing issues. So when I get this back together, I'll try to run through how I took it apart, because you take out every single light bulb, and I kind of got them spaced out so I remember where they went, and I take off this little circuit board on top, and there was a cover that went on top of that. And uh, it's not incredibly complicated, you just kind of have to pay attention to what you're doing. I am not used to working with circuit boards, but we'll see how this goes. Alright, this is the new circuit board installed. Do little tricks here, you have to take out those three screws, these two screws, these two screws. I'm not sure if I was already missing screws down here. Don't have them, so I can't replace them. Uh, these just pull out. Somewhat gentle, but firm enough to at least pull it. These two have collars that click up to release and click down. Clamp that down in there. And you can see these tabs fold in here, and these were most of the plugs for the dashboard go. And then you have these two plugs back here as well. So all the lights are in. I just kind of kept space for the lights. Apparently, I was missing some light bulbs. I know one of them is my drive indicator on the shifter. Uh, these two appear to not have any not have any purpose there. Missing that one as well. Uh, but yeah, going to throw this back in the dash and hopefully this resolves my problems and I can start driving at night again. All right, well this is follow up. I uh, went and took it for a test drive to get in the dashboard, circuit board replaced, and I have use of every gear. Now my reverse light's out instead of my drive light, but oh well, must have switched the bulb somewhere, I guess. Doesn't bother me. But as you can see, I have use of all gears. I can shift on the fly. I can drive with the lights on. 
everything seems to be working as usual. It's kind of scary to have uh, your dashboard make you think your transmission is going out, but that wasn't the case. Literally just a dashboard circuit, a couple bad solders or something like that, causing my transmission to not shift correctly. So uh, it's shifting correctly now. I guess I uh, left out a lot of detail on this, but I assume you can fill in some of the details. You gotta take off, sorry for the light right now. This bottom panel is held on by four 10 millimeter bolts. The next wooden trim piece around the dashboard held on by four Phillips head screws. The trim around the keys pops right out. The dash cluster itself is held in with four screws and then from there it's just a uh, plug and play and the rest of the screws I showed you. Uh, it turns out I was not missing screws behind the dash cluster. I uh, just hadn't put a cover back on and that cover filled up the rest of the screws which I could see some of those screws were labeled ground. So yeah, seems to be completely back together and working 100% as it should. So thanks for watching and uh, I noticed there wasn't much about this online so hopefully if you have this issue maybe this video will help you out. Good luck.